Hi and welcome to RNY Inside Learning Hub. This is our first tutorial video of the Selenium series. In this tutorial, we will study the basic of Selenium suit, its different component, features, advantage, limitation, and how Selenium works. So let's begin. So first, we need to understand what is a Selenium. Selenium is a free and open source test automation suite used for automating web based applications. It supports automation across different browser platform and programming language. Using Selenium we can automate the functional test and easily integrate them with Maven, Jenkins and other build automation and continuous integration tools. Okay, so Selenium have different tool like Selenium ID, Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid. Okay, so Selenium ID help to create a robust browser based regression automation suite and tests scale and distributing distribute script across many environment then you want to use selenium web driver a collection of language specific binding to driver a browser the the way it means to be a driven <clears throat> selenium web driver help to create a quick bug reproduction script create a script to add in automation add exploratory testing then you want to use Selenium ID, a Chrome, Firefox and Edge add-on that will do simple record and playback of integration with the browser. Selenium Grid Help to scale by distributing and running tests on several machines and manage multiple environments from a central point, making it easy to run the test again a vast combination of browser OS then you want to use selenium grid okay so why why I describe this actually in so many interview interviewer will ask in uh, different all of these okay so selenium have some advantage and limitation advantage are selenium is open source selenium uh, uh, accept uh, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, and so and so. And it provides platform support for all the major operating systems like Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Celerios. It supports most of the popular browser like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Internet Explorer, Opera Mini, and Safari. The Selenium ID component of the Selenium suit provide record and playback features using which non-programming can also write up automation script. Selenium grid helped in parallel and distributing testing. Limitation are Selenium does not provide a desktop application automation support. Uh, web ser services like REST or SOAP cannot be automated using a Selenium. Selenium web driver required programming language requirement for script creation. For performing common tasks required in automation like logging, reading, writing and to external file, we have to rely on external library. So what is a Selenium web driver? With the help of Selenium web driver, we can automate the web application. So Selenium web driver is one of the most widely used tool for automating web application. It automates the browser by calling their native method directly unlike selenium rc which inject javascript in browsers for automation hence selenium web driver is much faster than selenium rc apart from this selenium web driver can also handle scenarios like alert pop-up ajax uh, request keyword and mouse action easily since web driver directly call the method of different browsers hence we have separate driver for each browser you can refer the diagram so you can write a script in any language ruby 
Java, Python, and C sharp. Then after that, uh, after that, you will help with the help of browser driver. So browser driver inject the JSON to navigate the browsers. Okay. So now, how can we automate a website? Before to understand this, we need to set up some pre-requesting things. Okay, like, okay, so like first we want to set up Java. So for now, we are focusing on Java. That's why Selenium are also written in Java language and so many communities, tester communities working on Selenium with Java and so many companies, mostly so many companies required a Selenium with Java tester, automation tester. So that's why I am I am focusing on Java for now. We will we will start uh, you know uh, for Python. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so I have already uh, you know provide a separated uh, Java series in this channel, so you can refer to understand the basic of Java. Okay, how to set up a Java, how to create a, all those things. Okay. So second thing is id in any id like eclipse why eclipse eclipse is open source and easy to use like user friendly we have uh, intellij but intellij have some limitation on uh, a trial version or community version we can say okay third is driver driver is native exe file which help to navigate the browser so and last but not least is browser okay so why browser browser if you want to uh, you know automate your script in a uh, firefox and you have not a firefox in your system then your script will uh, you know failed so that's why we required all these things before start the automation okay so let's begin so hi i have a uh, you know set up all the things already okay so i will provide a link in uh, the video description okay so now let's begin so now create a project okay maven project okay and 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 set up all the things so i have created already so i am referring this okay so now i am going to create a uh, package package okay now introduction, introduction. already exist one second let's see okay now uh, i am creating a class um, back 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 class okay so now i will demonstrate you uh, how to automate a web google web go, how to launch a google website by script uh, using Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Okay. So, main method. Okay. So, before uh, navigate any browser, we required a driver as already discussed. So, now I'm going to download. Okay. Now, first, uh, before uh, download the Chrome driver, you need to check your uh, version of the browser so right click on the uh, click on the three dot okay and uh, click on the help and click on the about google chrome so the google chrome will show the version okay the latest version okay now download download chrome spelling mistake okay 
so this is the official site i will i will you know add in the link on the description one second okay so now <clears throat> download as per your version so i have one one zero nine point zero point so i'm going to download this and for window i have a window os so i'm going to download this in i have already downloaded so now skip for now you can download okay now go to the driver location copy the driver path okay from and copy and for set for calling the exe file we have a system class and system class have a method which is set property set property and set property required two parameter which is library and a library path okay so <clears throat> so we have we have a path now okay and we require to call a library so babe driver dot chrome driver okay so this library will help to navigate the uh, chrome browser okay now we call we require to call a wave driver so wave driver is an interface okay in so many interviews interviewer will ask what is the wave driver wave driver is a class or wave driver is an interface you so you can you can say that wave driver is the interface you can see that in okay the icon i icon i can i can indicate the this is a, an interface c i can indicate that this is a class so you can see that system okay so system is a class okay now driver okay new chrome driver so we can call a class by the interface variable okay we have already covered the concept basic concept of the java so you can okay you can refer the series okay now driver dot navigate dot to dot website url okay so http dot google www dot google dot com okay now now i'm going to launch this uh, hope everything is fine okay now perfectly fine okay you can see that it's launched successfully but in minimum uh, <clears throat> not maximum uh, window okay maximize window so how can we maximize so driver dot we will we will learn in detail okay in coming video so manage dot window dot uh, maximize okay now i want to close also dot closed browser okay now run again hope everything is fine okay you can see maximum and close okay so now how can we run on firefox so now i require a firefox driver we have already a firefox driver so for firefox driver we required a gigo driver okay so copy the url gigo driver okay and paste it <clears throat> okay now gigo sorry gigo driver so now run again no 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 oh this is chrome driver so firefox okay now import the library okay now find and run in again so we will get an error okay now why why i am getting an error actually in window 11 some more uh class we need to set up some pre-request we need to set up but in window 10 or window 7 
this code will be run okay quarantine this code will be run easily but in window some changes okay so now i am going to and second so firefox we need to call the binary file binary file which is installed in our system so firefox binary class we'll call by firefox binary class okay so ff binary okay new firefox binary so this required a path of the binary file so new files with the help of file class we navigate the binary file okay now how to find the binary class so now go to the c drive okay as because every every uh, software is installed a c drive by default okay so now go to the system c drive users uh, user's name uh, this is my system so the sumit kumar choudhury in case your your name will be appear in this okay sumit kumar choudhury and app data yeah this app data and uh, local and mozilla mozilla firefox okay and you search a fire exe file this is exe file okay i already so now copy the firefox ex firefox exe file copy this okay and paste it on our, your script okay now now so this is the capabilities or desire cap capabilities so desire capabilities is a class in a selenium okay which uh, help to set up the desired capability desired cap equal to new okay desired capabilities okay and firefox options firefox option class will help to set up the desired help desired capability okay options new firefox options okay now desire uh, desire mm -hmm. desire cap dot set capabilities set capabilities okay now firefox option firefox options dot firefox option okay and options dot set binary file binary file and ff binary okay so we successfully set up okay now 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 call this initialize this in another one okay so before okay, open the browser we required some set up the capabilities so now run this code again hope everything is fine okay now run again getting an error one second one second something missing from my end my queen web driver dot eco driver to driver everything is firefox exe so what is the error is 
could not native language is not their capability mm. uh, 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 uh. one second option okay okay now run again okay now perfectly fine now our script is run on firefox you can see that okay now i'm now commenting this now run again okay okay so our script is successfully run in firefox okay how to run a it edge microsoft edge now we need to download microsoft edge uh, download edge driver okay so in official side you can get from the official side downloaded it so i have a window so 86 version not 30, 64 version sorry and uh, downloaded it okay and open the folder unzip the zip file extract and copy the path okay okay so why we are getting an error it's because I have not provided a, the capabilities variable in the Firefox to the Firefox driver. Okay, so Firefox driver was not aware the setup capabilities. That's why we are getting an error. So now I am copy the paste the path and age driver and okay now driver dot new new age driver okay now run it okay now successfully run in the edge you can see that edge driver so simple is that so so thank you guys thanks for watching hope you understand the concept what is the selenium how to set up okay i will provide all the required uh, you know all the required link in the group uh, in the video description okay thanks thanks guys for watching this.